The biggest thing that holds people back is their mindset. And from this channel, through these episodes, I'm hoping to change people's mindsets and make them start thinking of the little things they can do to change their lives, increase their happiness, and continuously move forward in small micro steps to get to our end goals. And that is my goal. And that is my objective. And that is the full desire of everything I do is for everybody, including myself, to become the best version of themselves. And whatever that brings in our lives, whatever opportunities that bring to embrace them and just go with it, basically. I've spent maybe 10 years just listening to the likes of, you know, Gary Vee and Grant Cardone and Simon Sinek and all these other guys that all talk about, you know, how to become the top 1%, how to make massive amounts of money, how to become ultra successful. But in recent years, you know, a few things happened in my life that changed my sort of perspective on life and changed my outlook. And I realized that how good and how rewarding life can be to be an integral part of the half. You know, you think of bees and how important bees are in the world. You have one queen bee, which is, let's say, the top 1%. You have the worker bees. And all the worker bees do exactly what they need to do every day to keep the hive strong, healthy. You know, there's bees that sit outside the hive and flap their wings to bring in some cool air when it's too hot. There's bees that go out and, you know, and find the flowers and they come back and tell the other bees where the good flowers are. And if you think, if you compare, if you compare humanity to bees, it's exactly the same thing. There's the top 1% that we all work for and, you know, they, they become very wealthy, but they don't, not necessarily bad people. But when you don't have a lot of money and you're just a worker bee and you're just getting your things done and you're just moving through life, you do have a lot of influence in your sphere. Like, I am not famous, I am not rich. However, you know, I'm happily married. I have my two boys, I have my internal family, I have my, my daily people that I work with at work. And within that small circle, I have influence. I don't have a great deal of influence. I'm not gonna change the way the country runs. I'm not gonna change the way, but I can change the way the people I speak to all the time see and feel about their, their world around them. And that, injection of positivity, that injection of encouragement, that injection of support for those people around you to achieve their goals. Rather than being the negative, rather than being the person that holds those people around you behind, if you're the person that lifts and elevates the people around you up, there is a massive, massive reward waiting. And again, we always try and think of rewards as a financial incentive or a financial reward. But sometimes the reward can just be seeing somebody else succeed and then them helping somebody else. Or seeing somebody who didn't know how to solve this particular problem, helping them figure out the solution and a, and a plan and a framework to figure to solve that problem. And then in six months or a year, seeing them overcome that problem. You know, structure, responsibility, improvement and learning are the key fundamental parts of creating a really strong society. And whether you think about a beehive as a society or the society we have, which has been fragmented over the years and we've all been pigeonholed into certain boxes, everybody's rather, everybody would rather tear everybody else ap apart rather than uplift them and, and challenge people in a constructive way rather than a negative way. And my main focus right now is to change this world, to change the mindset of how we deal with each other, to make life better.